over the years, if customers have their camper in the sun or just with age, plastic will dry out. Common thing customers will switch out every four or five years is their drain cock, little drain valve for the freshwater tank. To do that, pretty easy. The part itself is only a few dollars, but you have two screws down here. Take these out. Sometimes I'll do this with a drill to make it a little faster, but today just a screwdriver. Over the years, we've used different versions. Sometimes these are a Phillips. Sometimes they're a square head. This particular one, it's square. So I just got a little tip bit that's a square head. You can find that at any hardware store. And then this side over here. It's always a good idea to drain the fresh water tank before you change this. We did not do that. We're gonna attempt to change it with water in the tank, but I don't normally recommend that. And then if you do this, do it outside in case any water drips out. So two screws, and then that piece will come out. I'm gonna just, sometimes I'll take a flat blade screwdriver and get behind there. This black stuff, which is actually white underneath, that's just dirt that's stuck to it over the years. This is butyl tape which is like a, it almost looks like a strip of bubble gum and it's sealant. So it sticks, this little piece sticks to that pretty well. You just gotta wiggle it and you'll see how it's stretching this, this bubble gum tape kind of stuff. It's called butyl tape. It's really good sealant. It doesn't dry out. It's not too hard to work with. You can just kind of peel it off and pick at it a little bit to get it off the excess. And you, if there's excess on there, you can leave it on there too. From there, we are gonna take the hose clamp off. I'm kind of trying to get some of this butyl tape out of the way so you can see it, but there's a, a water tank hose here. Clamp, just a little ring clamp, and then a drain piece itself. So we'll Go ahead and pause for a second. I'll go get some tools and we'll take this off next. So we're back. We can do this with a flat head screwdriver here. I got a little socket that fits on there just so it's easier. You can just unloosen that ring clamp, little hose clamp, give it a bunch of turns so it's it, the clamp is not attached any longer. And then at the same time, I'm gonna Use a pair of pliers just to hold that hose. I can get some leverage on twisting this out of here. It's a barbed fitting on the back of this is, is a plastic barbed tube that goes inside of that drain hose. It sticks in there pretty darn well. It's not not always easy to get out of there so we have two things happening here we have a clamp ring which is completely loose but i'm just doing a little extra just in case we have some of the old butyl tape spinning around in there as i'm turning it but that shouldn't keep it from coming out it's just compression fitting so take some muscle holding that thing pulling this out of here so the hose comes off of that we took this barbed fitting, we pulled that guy out of there. We went ahead and got a new one. They look the same, same size, same shape, old, new. We're gonna take this guy and with those pliers, I'm just gonna grab the hose and pull it out a little bit. This hose can zip back in there sometimes on you, so it's better if you can get some vice grips or vice grip needle nose pliers to hold it in place. Putting it back in, if you have the right size, is usually pretty easy. That goes all the way. So the back of this is touching the hose itself. So it's all the way, mounted all the way in there and then just tighten your hose clamp back up. Now 
the hose clamp is nice and tight on there. We got butyl tape around there. I'm gonna put a little bit more butyl tape on there. So you can make a piece of this. No specific way to do it. We just make a ring around there that will seal that hole up. The excess will kind of squish out once we seal it down in there. And then we'll trim it off from there. We have the new piece on here. The hose is clamped on there. We got some butyl tape around the opening, which most of that will disappear. And then we'll put our screws right back into the same hole. If your screws are rusted, probably a good idea to change them. These aren't. And then sometimes you have to adjust this just a little bit to get that back in the hole, but it works pretty easy. I won't go completely tight on that side, just snug. These are plastic drain cocks, so don't want to over tighten it. You want it to be snug. And if you tighten them down too much, this piece can crack right there. It's good quality. It doesn't want to break on its own, but if you tighten it too much, it will. So that's snug. We got the butyl tape. Got the new drain cock on there. Hose, the clamp, butyl tape, two screws, pops back in there, sealed up. And then from there, you can take a flathead screwdriver and trim off the excess butyl tape out of here. And just make it for a nice clean, clean look. And just pack that in there. It'll be a nice seal. Like once you get the excess stuff off, You can kind of pick at it or you can get a screwdriver. Then we usually just take our finger, push it in there. You have a nice good seal all the way around there. And then if you want, you can take cleaner like Windex and clean that dirt off of that.